Good morning, friends, and welcome back to regular vlogs for a day, for a minute, anyway. Um, I say that because I'm leaving Saturday morning for Disney, and I won't be back until Wednesday. So when you guys are seeing this, it's Monday. So I've already been at Disney for a couple of days, and I won't be back home until Wednesday night. So you guys will have some Disney vlogs to watch as well and sorry for those of you guys who don't like them and who don't care to go to Disney with me that's okay I like to go to Disney <laughs> so um, anyhow so hey today's Thursday um, we have been home from Ireland since Saturday night and this is the first time that I have pretty much left my house with the exception of two times Sunday morning I got up and I went to the grocery store and picked up like some milk, eggs, that type of thing. A few few things, nothing major. And then uh, Monday night I had to take Brian to the airport because he is currently in Connecticut on a business trip. So um, I have pretty much been in the house and stayed home since we got home, like I said, with the exception of the two things. Uh, Today is like my first day venturing out of the house and actually going to go get a few things. I have a list on my phone, my little post-it note on my phone. I have to go get gas first First and foremost. I have to go get gas. Then I have stuff that I'm going to drop off at the Goodwill because remember before I tried dropping it off at the Goodwill and they weren't accepting donations at the time. I'm going to tell you what, it's going to go straight in the trash if they're not accepting donations this time because I am sick of hauling this stuff around. Plus, I actually added another bag to it. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, I'm going to go to Target because I need to get some Kleenexes. I have been sick since we got back. Actually, I the, the day that we left, um, a double, uh, the day that we left Ireland, so like the night we were in Belfast, I think it was Thursday night, I started getting sick Thursday night. So we could go tonight, I was getting sick. We could go today, I was getting sick in Belfast. Um, <coughs> <coughs> my friend Sandy was actually sick there as well. She actually went to the hospital and got an antibiotic. Um, Clara... Ray's mom, the lady who was with us, just tested positive for COVID. So that's good news. Or not good news, but it's like, that's great. You know what I mean? Great. Um, but none of us have tested positive for... Sandy didn't test positive or anything like that for COVID. Just, um, just, just Clara. But I am like on the end of my sickness. Like I... I'm no longer running a fever. That's kind of basically why I've been staying home is because I've been sick. Let me um, get out of my driveway, get out of my subdivision, and I will chat back with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, I actually had to turn back around and go back home and get my Kleenexes because I forgot them on the counter. So anyway, okay, hey. So yeah, my, my goal today, I'm gonna run to Target. I gotta pick up a few things there. Um, I wanted to pick up some pumpkins and some mums and stuff today. Again, not exactly sure if I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I don't know. I'm still like feeling bleh. And um, <laughs> I hate like when you feel sick because you just want to go get your stuff done and then like come home. That's pretty much me. Like I don't feel like I want to get some pumpkins and I want to get some mums. Brian's cousin is coming in on Saturday. And that's kind of like the reason why I wanted to get some pumpkins and mums. But I can actually have him go do it Saturday um, before they get there if that's something that he feels like doing. Um, and just kind of put some mums in the backyard and the patio and then by the front door. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or not. I'm not exact. I don't know. I just, I, right now I'm not feeling great. I have quite a few things that I just want to get done off my list today and um, get back home. Because again, just not feeling 100% still. And it's unfortunate because I'm leaving for Disney on Saturday and I don't want to feel like crappy on Saturday when I'm at Disney. So that's so unfortunate. Um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to going to Disney though. I'm going to be with my sister. Um, she is actually going to be going with me. So I'm happy about that. And then, um, in a few weeks later, I'm Brian and I are going to be going back to Disney and, uh, we're going to be there for, well, we're going to be gone for quite some time during that time. You know what? I'm going to stop right here really quick while it's not busy. All right. I'm gonna let you go. I got to go to the bank. All right. I can check bank off of my list. Um, 
I just got a text too from my friend Sandy, the one that we were in Ireland with. She goes, the vlogs are looking great. She goes, the quote that you couldn't remember is, it is about the Irishman. It was built by Irishman and it was built by Irishmen and destroyed by an Englishman. That's the quote that I was trying to think of at the end of that video the other day and I never asked Ray <laughs> the end of it. Oh my gosh. But anyway, she said they're good vlogs. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying that they're good. I, I enjoyed making them. I enjoyed sharing our time with you guys, our time, our time in, in, in Ireland with you guys. We still have, I think, three or four more to go. Um, and uh, yeah, so very, very exciting. All right, now I'm gonna get gas because I am got like 17 miles until I am empty. So I gotta get gas. I'm gonna drop this stuff off, hopefully. And then we're gonna head to Target. Alrighty guys, so I'm back home and I was unable to film at Target because I dropped my camera and broke it. And thankfully, I have a brand new one here at home, which is the one I'm using now. And I was able to come home and swap this one out. This is my old one, that's my new one. And very frustrating because I was hoping to be able to like film today while I was in Target and just kind of share that stuff with you guys. So unfortunately, I didn't get to do that. That's a bummer, but I will share a haul with you guys of the stuff that I did buy while I was there. But first I'm gonna have some lunch. I stopped off at Rosie's on my way home and picked up two tacos. And now I have to go on here and adjust all these settings because everything, the, the lighting is all weird and, and all that good stuff. It doesn't have its autofocus and manual focus and stuff on it, but I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat my lunch and uh, then I'm going to get the other stuff out and um, share with you guys what I picked up at Target. But yeah, I just got two tacos because they have the best, the best tacos. See, two tacos from Rosie's and I should have some chips in here and salsa. So I'm gonna eat that and then I'll check back in with you guys here in a little bit. It was very frustrating that I broke my camera. I was not really happy. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and walk around here and I'm gonna show you the things that I picked up from Target. So I picked up two of these Halloween blankets. I'm actually gonna throw these in the wash really quick and then I'm gonna put these outside on the chairs uh, for you know Halloween and fall outside. I picked up some Kleenexes because we are well in need of some Kleenexes around here. I picked up these boxes and I picked up these ones because these ones fit in one little area and these ones fit in another little area so I have to get both kinds. So, Kleenexes. I got these two little pumpkins here, the little, little wooden ones. I have an idea where I'm gonna put them, just not sure um, if I'm gonna put them in my room or in another room or vice versa. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these ones in my room or in another room, but I did pick up these little pumpkins as well. They're super cute. These ones are ceramic and these ones are like made of wood of some sort. No, 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 like, I don't know, not wood, not wood, but like little rope or something, Any rattan? No, I don't know. Nonetheless, they're cute little, what are they made from? Um, doesn't say, these are not a toy. That's what you need to know, they're not toys. Um, then I picked up this quilt because I'm gonna put this on the bed in the spare bedroom. I will show you guys in a little bit what I'm talking about. And then I picked up these pillows to actually put on it as well. These are really pretty. So two of these little pillows to go on the bed. And then I picked up some lemons. Um, these are probably the ones that I'll take with me when we go to Disney, because um, I always like to have lemon in my water. And then I picked these ones up for Brian because I promised that when he got home, he would have some candy apples or caramel apples. Um, I picked this up because I needed a storage bin for some stuff in my bedroom. I picked up some Sudafed because of the whole fact that I am congested and sinusy and all that yucky stuff. I picked up some NyQuil because I'm taking this with me to Disney. Um, these are the little shams that match that bedspread. So I got two of those. And then I got some fine china because we were about out. This is the big, another big blanket or quilt that I'm gonna actually put across the bed in that bedroom. Uh, let's see. These little um, decorating clips, I picked these up because I need to hang up some more of my bats. 
And then I have some trash bags here that are gonna go in the kitchen. These trash bags go upstairs and I picked up some toilet paper. So we are good. So now I just have to put all of this stuff away. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and get those all washed up so I can put those out on the uh, chairs out back. And then um, I'm gonna get a few things done around here and um, I'll share that with you guys here shortly. So uh, let me get these in the wash though. Alrighty, so this is what I'm gonna change up. Um, I already have an ivory bed skirt down there. And if you guys remember a while back, I bought this like at Ross or something. I don't even know if I showed you guys. But anyway, I bought this quilt at Ross. It is a really nice like blanket, came with like the little pillow shams and stuff like that. And then I bought this to kind of go across it. Um, I'm just not feeling it and I just still haven't purchased a uh, bed skirt, a white bed skirt to go on this. So I really just kind of want to change it all up because I'm not going to fool with a white bed skirt now. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if my mom wants this quilt because this would match her room because she has like the light gray walls as well. So I'll probably see if my mom wants this. And um, I'll give it to her, and um, she can have a, pretty much a brand new, like, comforter and set or whatever. And she'll really, really like that. And I'll probably give this to her as well, just so she can have this to throw on the end of her bed. So, I'm going to take all this stuff off, and I'm going to put the new one on. Um, this is the stuff that I'm actually, I pulled this out because I thought maybe we would need this for when we were sick this week, but I never used it. Um, this is stuff to go with me for my trip this week, this weekend. Um, to Disney. I need to put that in my um, travel bag. Um, this is the ch the table that was in our living room and I'm going to get rid of it. And right now though, it's going to sit in here because I have no place else to put it. And then these towels, I needed to take with me to the donation place and donate all those towels because I don't need them. So that's something I'm going to do probably when I get back. But for now, we're going to strip this and we are going to put the new bedspread and stuff on here. And I will put little Mickey right back on here as well. Alrighty, so this already just looks so much prettier and it just matches so nicely. However, uh, they only had these in standard. So I need to see if I can get these in King. Um, and then I want to get like one more or two more of these in a standard that way I can have two king four standard And then these would be like perfectly like in the center, but Because they only had those two that is what I was stuck with so I'm actually gonna go online and see if I can order them But I think this looks amazing. This thing is so pretty. I love that. It's actually reversible as well it like I said it just fits in here so perfectly and I love it. And this blanket right here, once I get this mirror hung up, it'll look really, really nice with that mirror hung up too because this kind of like brings out that tan color, dark brown color in the mirror. So maybe I can get Brian to hang that up for me tomorrow. <laughs> we shall see. But for now, this is what it's gonna look like until I can get the other pillows, but I'm gonna go see if I can order those right now. Alrighty, so I went on the Target website and they did not have any more King shams, nor did they have any Euro shams left. So I ordered two more of just the standard shams, that way I can have like four of them lined up. And I just kinda wanted to show you guys the brand and the name of it all. So this is by Casa Luna. This was the linen blend sham. So I ordered two more of the standard ones. That way I would have four. And I'll just kind of keep an eye on the website to see if they, they add any of the euros or any of the king. Because once they do, then I'll just order those as well. But yeah, that's what, that is what the um, comforter is. And it's machine washable too, which is really, really nice. And then this is the uh, knit blanket. It's also by Casa Luna. And that's from the knit blanket that I got to put on the end of the bed. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys just in case you guys are wondering what it is. And um, they did have this available on Target. But like I said, they did not have the, the pillowcases or the standard shams. Excuse me. The shams, the king shams or the euros. Only the two standard ones left. So I ordered those.
so the happy halloween blanket fits perfectly over here and i actually like it it looks great and then i put the little pumpkin one over here which i love the little pumpkin one as well it is just super super cute and then now i can actually wash those ones and just kind of put them away um i wish these like lifted up for storage because then i could put those blankets in there but i didn't share with you guys that we did get like smaller little footstools uh, for these chairs and these footstools actually do lift up and that's where I've been storing my covers for the furniture which worked out perfectly and they match pretty well they're about the same color and I like the fact that they have little cushions on top of them as well and um, we got those on Amazon and uh, it's only because we kept using these ones and pulling them over here to use with the chairs and so we just thought well you know what when we have company coming, which we have company coming in October, um, everybody's gonna want a little footstool. So I don't know why that's so close. Oh, there we go, I think that's a little bit better. Oh, but now it's really, really dark. Um, anyway, we have family come, or friends coming. The friends that we went to uh, Ireland with, they're gonna come here in October, in about three weeks from now. They'll be here for a, whole, for a weekend. And um, I just wanted to have, obviously, room for them as well. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, um, another thing that I bought that came in mail yesterday, um, I had been wanting to get a new mixer. I've been wanting a white one. And I bought the Drew Barrymore one. And this one is very, very lightweight. And I love the way that it looks. I ordered it um, from Walmart. So it's a Walmart brand, or Walmart, from Walmart with uh, Bar Drew Barrymore. And um, I actually like the way that it looks in here. Like I said, it's white. And I was kind of wanting to get a white one. Um, I'm not getting rid of my red one because that's the one my mom got me for Christmas several years ago. So I'll still continue to keep my red KitchenAid. Um, and you never know when I'm going to need like two mixers at some time. You just never, never know. And then another thing that I ordered that came in yesterday as well was a new mirror for travel. Um, mine shattered. <laughs> well, I don't know what the coloring is with this. This is weird, but anyway, um, mine shattered when we arrived in Ireland. So I ordered a new one and just threw out my old one. So I will just pack this away with me tomorrow for my next little trip. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I'm actually a little tired. I'm still not feeling 100%. Um, I have to pick up Brian tonight at 11.30 at the airport, so I wanna try to get some rest before I have to leave to go pick him up. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, back from Ireland vlog. Um, I don't, I'll probably, I don't know, we'll figure it all out because I'm going to be at Disney and stuff, so I'll have Disney vlogs coming up, which I know a lot of you guys don't like my travel vlogs. I'm sorry. I do apologize for that, but I, this is my channel, and I do daily vlogs. I do travel. I do all kinds of stuff, so that's part of my channel. Sorry, but, and I love Disney, and I love to travel, and that's part of my life, so um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the Ireland vlogs. And uh, that's going to be it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.